What's up guys? Welcome to another fun-filled day of pond construction. I am running the red 245. Kenny is over in the green 245 over there. Um, it's kind of been a struggle to get going today with just little problems. We're getting steep enough. We're getting the uh, hydraulic hoses and binds on that thing. Uh, sorry, I saw a pig of going by all of a sudden. I didn't know if they were... Wow. Um, but anyways, getting the hydraulic hoses and binds is trying to pull on them pretty hard. And just now, right as I was grabbing the camera to start this, he was coming up out that corner and broke the chain that sports draw bars. So now we gotta go get that fixed. But hopefully the audio is good. Got some new mic parts to replace the mic parts I broke. Um, gotta love Amazon Prime two-day shipping, huh? So, as you can also see, it's a little gray and muggy out. A few little sprinkles on the window. It's, it's a nice day. Chance of rain. Uh, everything I've seen is calling for like a tenth to three tenths, which for us would be a big rain. It's dry as we are. As much as I want to get this pond done and we're falling further and further behind schedule on it, I'll take the rain. We've got a lot of weed acres that really could use a sprinkle. But, anyways, I guess I'm going to park this and follow him over to the shop, see if he can't get that fixed back up and running. Because that's just, that's too much pressure on that drawbar without that chain on the three point helping. So, yeah. Going round and round. Alright, I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. Okay, got the chain taken off the tractor, measured. Bart was just telling me it's something that's even stronger than high tensile, so hopefully these guys have it. We got a local supplier here that has stuff like that. So go get 10 foot of chain, see if we can't get that thing back up and running. It's almost 2.30 already, so probably not gonna get a whole lot done today, unfortunately. And just like that, we are back up and running. The uh, local farm supply store had that high. It's a special chain. It's half inch links. Um, it's something stronger than high tensile. I can't remember what it was called. But they keep supply that on hand. So he'll keep cutting away. This tractor, main job of it is to just basically drive around and pack while the killifer on the back is just there to do a little bit of smoothing not much but just kind of keep things smoother i should say for him so we'll see how it goes so one thing i don't think i've brought up at all is surveying we have yet to really shoot the surveying yet because kenny's laser broke down on us um you know i'll when the guy who designed it, he surveyed it, we kind of knew, okay, we got a lot of cutting to do here, a lot of fill to do there. We'll get a long ways before we ever worry about shooting it. Well, Tuesday or Monday, I came over here to help Kenny shoot it. We fire up the laser, it ran for about three seconds, shut off, and never turned back on. He messed with it all night and still couldn't get it turned back on. So basically his laser shot. Um, just to kind of get a rough idea, he brought over the old school sight glass and him and Maddie kind of went around this thing doing some of that. So they kind of had a rough idea. Well, to get a new laser here, we went ahead, the farm, oh, I don't know what that was. The farm went ahead and ordered one through John Deere. They had to transfer it out of the store of Pueblo, which is frustrating because Bart and I were just at that store two weeks ago. If we would have known this would be so much easier but they overnight ship laser down everything shows up the tripod the gauge or staff or stick however you want to refer to that the box for the laser but there's no laser in the box really how how do you ship an empty box wouldn't you know whenever you start getting everything put together hey this box is insanely light they shipped an empty box. Hopefully, 
new laser will be here tomorrow now. One of those things is what it is, life moves on. We still kind of have a pretty good idea of we need dirt here, we need cut there, so we're able to keep moving for now, but I thought I'd fill you guys in on that because I don't think I've talked at all about surveying yet. There, we keep bouncing around with this thing. Sprinkled a little bit, so now I can't hardly see out my back window. Go figure, about five drops. That's, that's a big rain for us. Time to keep cutting. I do know one thing, packing these sides with this tractor seems quite a bit sketchier than with that other tractor. I don't know if it's just the feeling of no duels on the front or what, but I was just on that outer bank, which you guys have seen in other videos, is fairly steep with that other one. This guy had the wheels at like a 45 degree angle and I was still crab walking like crazy. I thought I was gonna pop a front tire just trying to stay on the wall because there was so much side force on them. All right, just thought I'd share that. Keep going round and round. Well, guys, it's been a couple days since I've done the side view. As you can see, that thing is well above my head. So we're getting fairly close here. I know we gotta add decent amount through that corner there. But yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, I got one more thing I want to go show you guys, too, from when I was talking about the sprinkler. I don't know, a week two ago, whenever they put that up. On the way to the pivot, got slightly distracted. Local fertilizer company was out here today. Let's see, that little guy, that little guy, that little guy. That is some foss, phosphorus because this hay field wasn't manured before it was planted it is desperately short of foss so they came out here with their floater i guess is what i'd call it put that on in hopes that that rain will hit it and incorporate it but let's get over to the pit i want to show you guys something so if you go back a couple videos ago i don't know maybe a week ago um I talked about the nozzles are way too high. I mean, that's five, five and a half foot off the ground. They're supposed to be three foot off the ground. So we called Brad, the salesman. He was rather upset when we told him that tower one is supposed to be this high because it's on 90 inch spacing. So there's 90 inches between every nozzle. Towers two through six are supposed to be 36 inches off the ground because they are 60 inch spacing in between nozzles. Tower number seven is our wonderful experiment. It is on 30 inch spacings and it is two and a half feet off the ground. Now, the problem that we have is these guys are not three foot off the ground. They are five foot off the ground. So we called Brad, he was pissed, he called Zomatic, and Zomatic looked up the order and went, oh, crap, we sent you the wrong hoses. Because all these hoses were already pre-cut and numbered, so they knew where to put them. So, hey, there's a big rock. We'll put that in the pickup. Yeah, this is, this is what we would call a pretty good sized rock. That'll do some damage to a swath or a silage chopper. So, Zomatic, the next day, shipped out the correct hoses but unfortunately for these guys instead of doing this while it's on the ground and you can just walk right up to it they've got a uh, a man lift down there by the pivot up with that pickup and they gotta go up and change every single hose now so they gotta undo the clamp on each one pull the hose off put the new one on undo the clamp on the bottom put the new one on there and the bottom clamps are squeeze clamps which do not come off that easy so that'll have to be cut but don't cut too deep that you hit the barb or you'll have to replace the hose barb yeah a lot of fun but so i thought i'd fill you guys in on that hopefully oh well, i don't know it depends how much longer it takes us to finish the pond i'm hoping another two three days of work on the pond and that'll be done 
so we can get the green tractor planting oats because we need to be planting oats now every day we're delayed is putting us behind the eight ball a little bit on that because one of the places we need to plant them has well water Colorado's wonderful use it or lose it rules on well water you have till the end of March to use your year's cycle of water or you just lose what you didn't use which causes a whole lot of waste but let's not talk about that tonight so we got to get that tractor unhooked get it plant notes we need the pond done so they can start putting in the pipeline so we can get the electric in so this thing can move so we can start tearing up the ground I can tear up that half can't tear up this quarter yet yeah it's just oh my brain hurts so yeah it's getting busy and hopefully starting Monday we'll get the disc ripper going because we got a lot of fields need ripped and ready to go so if we would happen to catch a nice rain or something we could go in and plant something get some growing while we can take advantage of our short water supply we have this year yeah I think that covers everything now I got a headache all right I'm gonna go home I'll catch you guys in the next video yeah I don't know when this is gonna come out I was gonna tell you what the next video is so I have no idea what the next video will be but either way see you guys there